Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and I have been sharing with you the 13 principles of Ben Franklin's life. Today, we're looking at number 11, which is tranquility, which is also another word for peace. So, Father, we thank you that today we can have the Prince of Peace in our life situation. And we ask this blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you've been liking what you'll be here, I would certainly encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, he's talking about tranquility here. He's talking about peace. You see, God is the one that gives us true prince of true peace. In fact, Jesus said, I will give you peace that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. What when we were talking about tranquility or peace, we're talking about absence of internal conflict and also internal stress or warfare. You are not allowing the things around you to pull you out of the peace that God gives you. Now, peace is also not just a state of mind, but also a state of being. You see, God wants to pour into us his peace. In fact, it is one of the wonderful attributes and communicative uh, nature of God that he wants to give to us. He wants to give us peace. He wants to help us to not only give us peace, but also as well be peacemakers. In fact, Jesus told us in the Sermon on the Mount, in the Beatitudes, he says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. So when you have peace in your own heart, and I'm not talking about sitting there and cleaning out your mind and saying, okay, I'm going to yama, yama, yama. That is the Eastern mystic type of thought. What we're talking about here is taking the word of God, applying the promises of God, taking a moment like David says when he said, Sila, you find that word in the Psalms, you're thinking about it, you're meditating on the word of God, and you're allowing that wonderful word to saturate your life, and then in turn, it gives you that peace that passes all understanding. You know that God has everything under control. You can cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. You can bring every burden to him, and his promise is that he'll take it, and instead he'll give you a yoke that is easy and a burden that is light. That's what Ben Franklin was talking about. He's talking about living a tranquil life, a life that is ordered not by external, but by internal peace that comes from God, where you know that nothing can pull you away from God, from God's promises, from his prayer from, I should say, from his word, and also as well, a wonderful vehicle in which you can get that peace is through the power of prayer and telling God exactly what's going on in your world and saying, Lord, things are a little confusing right now. Things are a little bit of chaos. So would you give, my, give me your peace? And his promise is that he will. A little thought for you today. My name's Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.